Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Meat Cranium Barbecue Review. Now, none of y'all had any warning. I was doing this live today. Anyhow, last week, I did not do a video, so I'm going to go live today with my idea that I have. And today's idea is going to be um, a modifications, uh, a modification I've been thinking of to do to the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. Uh, the Oklahoma Joe Bronco is probably one of my favorite grills. It's a vertical type drum smoker, kind of like your pit barrels, your um, your uh, barrel house cookers, and, and of course, you know, other ones. Anyhow, I was in conversation with um, a couple of people about how to how to modify a, tr a special charcoal basket for the Oklahoma Joe Bronco to maybe utilize more space because there's only a certain amount of space that you can go down and actually hang your meat. If you want to hang a brisket, you kind of got to do some squirrely stuff with it. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do today is I want to show you guys kind of a, a quick, simple, and easy way how to modify um, your, your Oklahoma Joe Bronco. Now, this isn't going to be the original idea I had. The original idea I had was to make a basket out of some... Um, some expanded, uh, some expanded metal. In fact, I talked to a uh, Greg over at the Woodshed Barbecue about this here idea, and it basically is to kind of transform your Bronco into a uh, like a, a vertically fed um, uh, charcoal smoker is what it's going to be, and you can also utilize more stuff. But here is something you can do on the cheap. Now this, now this idea is something I've been kind of mowing over for a while now. And I had another company reach out to me to do a review of their product. And it's another barrel type of drum smoker. And they had something very similar to this. And when I seen it, I was like, yeah, my idea should work. So let's get started. I'm going to show you guys what I have in mind. Oh, yeah. By the way, since this is a live, how I do my lives is basically you guys just going to peer into my life and kind of, um, I'm just going to kind of do like, like, uh, just kind of do like a regular video. I don't really do much interaction in my lives. Uh, I will probably try to answer some questions if I see them. Basically, just interact with each other, and uh, and there's, we're just gonna do stuff like that. Okay, so let's get started. All right. So, anyhow, right here, All right, so right here is the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. This is a metal pail. Yes, this is metal. It's not aluminum. This is metal. A magnet will stick. It will stick to this. So that's a good thing. I have a drill here with a a step drill bit. And uh, what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to show you down here. So downside of Bronco here, you have have the hole um, for. Uh, let me see. So down, you have a hole down here that's kind of like your uh, exhaust hole right down here in the middle that you kind of, that your air comes up through whenever you, uh, you know, you adjust your, your temperatures right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through this bucket, right straight through the center, maybe some other holes um, around here. And uh, then I'm going to put a couple holes around here and put it down the side there. And uh, what should happen is the air should come up through there and it should keep the coals on the bottom fed and I'm gonna put fresh coals on top and it'd be a basically a vertically fed uh, charcoal basket, which is pretty cool. Alright. Okay. All right, so here we go. So right here's the center. Go ahead and step a little bit. All right, there we go. So I did the full, the full, uh, the full hole right here. That's a good thing. I'm gonna put some across over here, some smaller ones. Right here. 
Okay, there we go. So here's the bottom of the of this pail. That's gonna go in the bottom, and the coals are gonna the coals are gonna go right here in the bottom. And I'm gonna put a couple around the side here. Hopefully this will work out good. All right, so since this is where I want the holes, uh, I made these holes bigger, and since the, the coals I want to keep hot are going to be down here, my my thing is is to keep this right here solid, not put any holes on the side here. I might uh, change that later, uh, but let's uh, let's give this let's give this a try. Put it in here. We'll see if this is down here like that. Now I have a grill grate here that I might put some stones up underneath and place this on top of here to keep it up kind of a little bit. So I'm gonna get a, we get a couple of rocks or well, a couple of uh, paper stones. All right, so here we got some paper stones right here. There we go. Gives a little bit of clearance. Plus, you got a handle here so you can grab your hook and pick up your charcoal basket. All right, there you go. That's that. All right, so now it's time to get. Some charcoal lid. I got the paper up underneath here to do uh, to light the charcoal. Go ahead and get that started. All right, I'm gonna give this just a uh, probably 15, 20 minutes to get those nice and hot. I'm gonna put that into the, uh, the pail and I'm gonna put some nice fresh coals on top and see how it goes, put it into the Bronco and just let it go. This is kind of a maiden voyage of this. So, dang, it's hot out here. Whew. All right. So this is, uh, so let me show you how I'm gonna do this with the hooks. All right. Look down to here. Down to here more. You see that side there? Yeah. Okay. So here's the uh, the rods, so that you can uh, put your hooks on. Basically, the hooks are gonna go on here.
We'll say this is a piece of meat. I'm probably gonna do some ribs on this. Say this is a piece of meat. You hang it down. It's gonna hang down along the side of the, of the basket right here. I got three of these rods. I gotta get the other one. So basically you're, now you can hang your meat all the way down on the side of the basket going all the way down, all the way down across. And uh, what it's gonna do is now you're gonna be able to cook whatever you want to cook. Brisket, ribs, uh, steak, whatever you want to, down along the side of the, of the basket. So hopefully this will help out some of y'all that have, uh, you know, the Bronco. Uh, you know, this is a, a wonderful, wonderful little machine. I love this grill. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Now, I didn't give anybody any warning about doing this here video, so I didn't put out like a, like a, a PSA or anything. But this, uh, this right here is the hook that goes for the, the um, for like uh, cast iron Dutch ovens and stuff. You can just grab, you can just grab, grab your uh, basket, just like that. Place it down the side there, you're good to go. I was even thinking with this, can it almost kind of act like a vortex if I had this part here cut off. If I should cut this part off, it could almost act kind of like as a vortex and uh and maybe save even more room but i might work on something like that, that later but for right now this is kind of like the the initial idea that i have that i've, I've kind of had i wanted to do for right now is to do just the holes in the bottom all right Let's look at these charcoals down here. All right. All right. Then also I was thinking if you want to put like some wood chunks inside the pail right here, with some, uh, some wood chunks, you can put some uh some your hot coals on the bottom to place uh some wood chunks in there and as it burns up the wood's gonna lower the wood's gonna burn and it's gonna keep burning burning and when you want to add charcoal all you got to do is just take some charcoal pour it on top and go about your day you don't gotta worry about it but these coals are uh these coals are getting uh getting getting pretty good right now all righty but it is hot out here it's about, it's uh, what, mid to late October and it's in the 90s right now. Oh man, I'm sweating pretty bad. <clears throat> All right, come on Coles, get, get, get a burning. All right. All right, I will be back in just a minute. So take a look at these coals as they burn. Uh, can you see that? Yep. All right, I'll be right back.
All right, I had to get some drink. <sighs> Sorry. Cheat a little bit. Speed this puppy up a little bit. All right. Oklahoma Joe modification. You got that? Yep. All right, so these been going now for got seven, almost 18 minutes in right now. And uh, coals are almost ready. Uh. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour, I'll put them into the, into the new modified basket on the cheap. Oh yeah, by the way, this basket, this right here, you can find it at Lowe's. I got this here at Lowe's. It was about $10, $11, I think it's like $11 at Lowe's. You find it inside a painting section. Uh, you don't want to do aluminum, you want to do a metal, and metal does, and uh, magnets do stick to this. So this is a metal, so this is a lot safer to use inside your pit. Um, it's probably not gonna last very long because the metal is pretty thin, but however, um, it should last for, you know, probably, I would say minimal, probably 10, 15, 20 cooks, which is a really cool thing. So, uh, um, then I'll probably go ahead, so I don't, you know, I don't scrape myself. I'll probably file down the shavings down inside here, the holes where I drill inside. I'll probably, uh, probably do that. So, uh, all right. I think the, I think the coals are about ready now. Let me get this thing, uh, this thing in there. Right there we go. Whew. It's kind of a concept right here. There you go. I'm gonna let those burn a little bit. Damn, I it's hard to see out here. All right, there we go. So I'm just gonna let these uh, these burn. I'm gonna put some uh, some fresh charcoals on top. Let these burn a little bit more. You generally would wait for these to ash over a little bit more, but uh, you know, I'm kind of, I, I kind of can't wait. I'm kind of, you know, impatient. <sighs> All right, check on a few things here. Uh, no, what's this? There we go. 
All right, now it's time to pour some coals on top. Let these burn a little bit. Let's get it right here. Can you see it, man? There, yeah, there it is, right there. Right there. I'm gonna put some Kingsford Long Burn, some Kingsford Long Burn on there. So I could fit probably a very large sum, probably. This is a, uh, this is an 11 pound bag right here of long burn. I could easily fit, you know, probably three quarter bag in there if I went all the way to the top. But I'm not gonna go all the way to the top, it's just kind of like an experiment. I think, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. So, um, All right, go ahead, pick this thing up. Pick this up and put it into here. Okay, now this is just to do the mod. This isn't to do, uh, you know, I'm not really gonna be cook anything on it right now. I'll probably cook something on it maybe tomorrow or maybe later on I'll do a video where I cook something on it. But this is just to kind of show you uh, kind of like if you wanna transform your Bronco vertical smoker, your pit barrel cooker, your barrel house cooker into a vertical fed charcoal smoker, this is the way to go. So. Anyhow, I think this is going to work out really good. I might check in later, do another live a little bit later, and kind of give you all kind of like a, a heads up on kind of like what happened and how it went. So anyhow, like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Ciao. If I can figure out how to shut this thing off. Cancel. Cancel.